Hey there all my followers and subscribers, Tanner here from Tanner's channel to do a movie review. <laughs> Hang on, there's somebody here who wants to get comfy. Say hi, Cozy. This past Monday she went to the groomers for her hair fur cut. Mm. Say hello, Cozy. Hi there, I'm, I love being cute and pesky. And <laughs> I know, Cozy. Anyway, I just got home from the movies, and I went to see Despicable Me 4. Well, since it's a 4 movie, why not celebrate the 4th of July? <laughs> I just keep petting Cozy, because she just wants my attention right now. Anyway, happy 4th of July, everyone, and I just want to know that Oliver is going great still, and... I just have my costume fittings and we have our preview in a week from today and in a week from tomorrow. We open! Now, here it is. I just got home from seeing Despicable Me 4 in the theaters and I actually enjoyed the for this movie. It was such a great... I don't know if it's a way to end the franchise. Because we all know we got two movies that take place before the first movie, which were Minions and Minions 2, The Rise of Gru. So, I don't know. This is the fourth movie to make. I mean, come on. 14 years ago, the first movie came out. 11 years. Second. Third. Seven. Years. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've only seen the first two movies in the theaters, and I've only seen parts of the third movie, and I watched the ending, very ending of it. The final battle all the way to the end. Now, I can't really rank them, but, rank much, but I did think, I loved it more better than the second movie. I always loved the first Despicable Me movie, but I always l loved that movie movie I liked the fourth movie but the first movie was still good but this movie see was actually I would say over the hill good because there's I loved what they did with five of the minion five of the minions sorry if you didn't see that making the mega minions to become superheroes which parody reference from Marvel superheroes if you will I loved all of the humor and Gru gets a son in Gru Jr. And all the original actors are still back and doing it. Though they have Will Ferrell voice the villain Maxime. If I said his name right. And he was half man, half cockroach, and he was French accent. And I thought Will Ferrell was a good villain because I know he voiced two other bad guys, but they all turned good, like Mega Mind and Lord Business in the Lego Movie. It was great to see him play a villain that doesn't have a redemption arc. Though I would like to wonder how many movies they planned for this big movie because I so far they made. Five Ice Age movies, though maybe five was enough for that franchise, but I don't really know how many they plan on, movies they plan on for Despicable Me. I mean, I love the Minions, but I also heard there's, when you watch these movies, there's an app that translates what they're saying whenever you watch it. But yeah, I would give this movie an A, because I loved the first movie, second movie was D all right, third movie, uh, low ratings since I've only seen parts of it, but this one, I would say was a good sequel. Thank you guys for watching this review. Please be sure to like and subscribe, leave great comments, and I say have a happy 4th of July.